Hey guys, it's Mark, and uh, I promise uh, I'm making a video about my peppers. Uh, so here, what we're looking at is my cayenne pop uh, peppers. These are just um, these all were grown. I mean, I'm sorry, cayenne peppers were grown from seeds, and I believe these are uh, called uh, Ring of Fire. I believe these were just purchased in Home Depot. Uh, fully organic, organic seeds, organic uh, soil, organic fertilizer, and these um, these are habanero peppers, and I could not find them in seeds. Uh, so this plant was purchased; with, it was very little um, from Home Depot, and it's been here on my balcony. Let me show you the sticker here. I've been growing this one for probably, I, I believe, I purchased this summer. So I'm sorry, last summer of 2020. Right now it's February, so approximately six, seven months ago, and we finally got some fruits. Um, we finally got some fruits going. But first of all, guys, if you're just you know starting to learn how to grow any type of plants, let me tell you something. <laughs> Peppers is the easiest plant to grow, in my opinion. Uh, first thing, they are not annual plants; they're perennial plants. So as long as you keep trimming them, uh, like I did right here, and I actually made a video how I how I prune my plants um, you know I pretty much cut off all the branches um, and that was probably just a little bit um, at the end of 2020 which wasn't really that you know far away and the plant just grew the branches right away right back up you know start having those little beautiful flowers and now as you can guys see we have plenty plenty of um, cayenne peppers okay uh, so one thing they are perennial so as long as you keep trimming them and if you live in you know up north you know i'm living in south florida so it's you know always hot in here um as you can see here it's february my plants are outside and just you know beautifully growing uh, their it's uh vegetable you know fruits um but if you live up north as long as you bring your plants inside maybe if they're in the pots or i even seen people you know planting their pepper plants in the ground and during the fall they would just dig them out and put them in the pot and they put them in the house and in the springtime once the frost goes away uh you know you can just plant them back into the ground and you know keep them growing so uh one thing guys very easy plant to grow. very little maintenance uh we do have some kind of bugs in here and i first thing i assumed it was a mildew but somebody commented it's some other type of bug uh and when I looked it up, you, you, the easy way to get rid of it is actually mix some vinegar with some water and just, you know, spray, spray it out. So, uh, so I'm going to try that, see if that works for now. This is something new. This is something I noticed a few days ago. Uh, box finally came in, so I got to take care of it. But let's go back to the main point in here. Peppers, very easy plant to grow. So if you're just starting, start growing peppers, okay? And you know, these are very hot peppers, especially Havanero ones. If you just, you know, if you don't like hot peppers, just, you know, go for bell, bell pepper, you know, grow some bell peppers. Uh, you know, just very easy, very easy. I have never had a problem with my pepper plants, um, you know, and especially if you just knew, uh, it's gonna be very, very satisfying for you to have, you know, your first peppers, first fruit, first vegetable, so. Uh, when it comes to f uh, fertilizing it, I pretty much, you know, I always look at the leaves, okay? Like, as you can see here, these are very nice, healthy looking leaves, very dark in color. There's no, you know, yellowish colors to it. Um, so, you know, I usually just maybe put once every six months, I just sprinkle a little bit, uh, slow releasing, down to earth, uh, organic fertilizer just on top, just a gener general one, four, 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 uh, uh, NPK. And you know those plants are doing just fine. You know, uh, comparing to my tomatoes, tomatoes are you know very heavy eaters, uh, and you do need to take care of them more and pay attention more. So, uh, so for you guys, grow your peppers. Okay. Uh, one thing I actually forgot here in the back, we do have another type of pepper, which you know this is Tabasco pepper. Okay. And this side right here kind of get yellowish. I'm not sure if it got, you know, burned from the sun or what happened. But this side is very nice and greenish. And actually, there's a lot of new uh, fruits and actually new peppers coming out. Uh, <laughs> this is the only one actually that came out first. It's the only pepper that it's here. But, you know, 
one thing guys I won't be growing uh, Tabasco peppers anymore just because the the size of the plant is huge and you know unless you may you know like to make your own hot sauce uh, it's just for me it's just not worth it it's not practical to grow Tabasco pepper in, the, in uh, on the balcony in the pot so I won't be doing this anymore I'm definitely doing uh, habanero I'm definitely gonna keep continue doing my um, cayenne peppers I use them all the time with you know different type of dishes and I like to just come here and pick them up uh, you know nice and fresh and let me just give you a little close-up of these here just very beautiful bright color okay so first thing they turn nice and green and then pretty much overnight you're gonna see halfway orange in the second day just matter of two days they're gonna turn nice bright orange meaning they are ready to go so uh, and these are just beautiful 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 colors so guys so that's that'll be all for this video um, any questions comments uh, let me know I'm always here to you know interact with you guys answer any questions I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers that recently subscribed uh, you know I'm planning to do many more stuff we're gonna do some trips to the local gardens here in Florida I'm gonna show you different that type of plants so definitely stay tuned and there's there's gonna be plenty to come um, you know in regards to growing vegetables gardens and etc so guys thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye